Hey, hey guys, three straight lines on a red box here. Today I'm gonna let you know if you need to get this deck, that's right, one of these awesome looks into something that you don't have, but you could potentially want. Uh, if you guys like magic tricks, you should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to check out the Pig Cake Card Academy. That way you guys learn a little something. And that way Piggy gets a little something so that he can make these videos and not uh, live outside. Uh, outside. So here is uh, a look at this Revolution deck by Murphy's Magic. Now there's a couple different things with this deck that I'm very interested in to see, including the Slipstream Finish circa 2015 if you guys could see it slipstream finish I, I can't wait to look at these cards and as always when we look at playing cards we're gonna look at it by the 3s rule uh so first uh skin feel next uh slip slippiness and then lastly uh sub-zero uh um so uh without any further interruptions let's see what's inside oh yeah i'm so excited i can't wait to see what's uh what's inside so uh well, let's just take a look at our, around the box here and we see that we have a very nice sort of a uh, red sort of a, a very pungent blood red box which is always wanted by anybody who's a potential serial killer you really want a deck that's going to remind you of your victim's blood so here if this could ever um Let's just see if we could get this info. <laughs> uh, yeah, boy. So here it says Murphy's Magic Playing Co. Playing Card Co. We have three straight lines. Uh, that's a political statement right there. And uh, 2015 Slipstream Finish. So as usual, Piggy's a little bit late to the, the game, right? <laughs> and here on this side, uh, did I just do a paddle move? No, it's the same thing. All right, it's the exact same thing. So Murphy's Magic Playing Card Co., uh, the three straight lines, uh, and the 2015 Slipstream Finish. Up here, we have a nice little bit of a hot, hot black sticker, another uh, political statement, which kind of goes against this one, right, to TBH. Uh, and then on the bottom, you have some information here saying uh, copyright. So if you try to copy this deck, they will send... They will send lawyers after you. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Let's just jump right into it. Uh, so here we have uh, one of these. Oh yeah. See, this is what I like right here. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of cellophane. And uh, one of my favorite things is when you have a very nice pull tab here. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right there, that's what I actually like when you have a nice little pull tab. You guys know that I like, I like keeping these uh, to give to my significant others as uh, little trinkets. You know, sometimes they come over the house, it's unexpected that they're showing up. So you're like, oh, hey, I have a present for you. And then you give them one of these as a little bit of a, like a little bit of a wristband, like a token of your affection. So that's how, that's how it's cool to have. Uh, then we have the top of the cellophane here, another little bit of a thing. You could put little Tic Tacs there, uh, keep that on your table, right? Uh, and then now we have the, uh, we have the box with the uh, cellophane on it. Oh, Oh yeah, that's that's a good that's definitely a good cellophane feel. Oh, oh yeah, that's a phenomenal cellophane. That cellophane's a, a cellophane you would take to your mom. Uh, that is definitely a good cellophane there. Oh man, I I can't wait to see what's inside here. So uh, we have a little bit of a sort of equal rights sticker. Uh, we're just gonna peel this off. I recommend to get a uh, to get some sort of knife. However, I don't have any sort of knife near me. Just for the sake that, uh, well, honestly, because they don't let um, they don't let me have knives, so uh, we're gonna just use our thumbnail, which is the same thing, right? We're just gonna use our thumbnail here, and uh, let's see how the sticker peels off. Usually, they peel off a little bit difficult. I'm having a little bit of a harder time with this sticker. Uh, oh yeah. Oh boy. Um, so yeah, that's a problem right off the bat. You need a good sticker. I don't know who's making these stickers, but you guys definitely need to figure this out. Right here, you have some like this that stay uh, lingering around like a puppy in the rain. Uh, so let's just uh, see if we can get right into this. Yeah, so far I gotta say the sticker really is uh, bumming me out here. But now we have, we finally got some uh, some opening here. So now I have just to clean up a bunch of um, stickers. Ah, good job, good job, really. Really appreciate that. And here, you know, it's great that they have a little bit of a message under the sticker, but you gotta scratch it like it's some sort of lottery ticket from 19, 
Fuck. Uh, so it says playing cards. Playing cards for the defiant. Whatever that means. Playing card for the, the defiant. Um, let's just, we'll see about that. Uh, they have a nice little sword meme here on the side. So you guys see that on focus. <sighs> All right, so here we have a nice little bit of a sword meme, right? So if we peel that back, oh yeah. Oh, nice, it's red on both sides. That's interesting. Uh, and now we have the meat of the situation here, the meat, the bulk. Uh, we have the playing cards. Oh yeah, you know, I gotta tell you, um, very minimal. I'm actually, uh, no meme here. I'm actually a fan of these. Uh, just by the look of them, I gotta say, uh, I'm a fan of the uh, minimalist sort of cards. I'm not a huge fan of these designs where it looks like the devil is stabbing an angel in the face and blood is just spilling everywhere. I'm more of a fan of these uh, sort of minimal decks. So I like that it's, uh, it's not a one-way back, right? Uh, so you could hold it like this, or you could hold it like this. Oh yeah, damn boy! That's what I'm talking about. So uh, the first qualification here is skin, uh, skin feel. So uh, I gotta say, so far it's a nice little bit of a, it's a, it's a weird feel on the cards, I gotta tell you. They don't necessarily have this uh, US playing card sort of feel. They have more of a, um, it's weird. It's like a plasticky sort of thing, but it's not plastic. Oh, oh man, it feels good though. I gotta tell you, you could replace a bar of soap for these puppies. Oh, yeah, uh, skin skin feel ten out of ten for sure. They feel good. They feel different. Uh, almost they don't they don't feel like playing cards that I've touched. They really don't. They feel almost like a mixture of plastic and uh, and that usual finish you have on cards. But the skin feel is definitely good, boy. Oh yeah, that's that's good. Uh, next qualification here is a uh, slippiness, a uh, slipperiness. So as far as slipperiness, you see that they dribble uh, very well. Uh, let's see if you could do one of these. Oh yeah, and without hitting the stand. Uh, one of these fans right here. Yeah, you could hit it up, right? Let's see one of these uh, Jeff Sheridan memes. Oh yeah, can we do one of these uh, two-handed memes to show all the ladies that you know that um, you don't know what they look like without clothes? So here, man, yeah, they, they're definitely very slippery. Very, very slippery. Let's see on this uh, close-up pad right here. Oh yeah, boy. Yeah, very slippery, uh, very nice feeling. They're not, uh, they're not bad. They're really, really good. They feel very slippy, but not too slippy. I've, I've had cards that uh, you do a fan and you have four, 14 of them shooting out uh, back to their homeland in China. So this is actually a really good, really good feeling. A deck of cards. So uh, let's just take a look at the. Let's just jump right into it. So here we have a very edgy sort of um, metaphor here as to semi-free. It says semi-free. If that could all. Ah, oh, cannon. All right. Uh, so we have two jokers that are the same here, which is kind of hot. Uh, these two jokers are. They have some sort of camera there, right? So the camera, I guess, represents like, oh, you're being watched. You're always being watched by the government. So you need to. Uh, you know, cover your cameras when you're, um, so the Ace of Spades, again, the eye, a very Egyptian metaphor here, right? You got some Roman numerals there. That's fairly interesting. Uh, and the other ones, they have these very minimal pips. You see the logo inside. You see what I mean? You see it? Uh, it's just that you can't focus on it because this, this uh, autofocus system was apparently made by a group of monkeys. Uh, thank you, Canon. A nice bokeh though. Look at that bokeh. Holy shit. Damn, good job on that, man. If only they had spent more time on their bokeh, uh, on their kit lens, than on their fucking autofocus. So here we have, um, it's a linear sort of system here, but you see the uh, the pips of the cards, very nice. The uh, chord cards, they're very diverse, they're very unique. Jack of Spades is holding a lightning bolt like he's uh, Harry Potter. And uh, we have the Queen of Spades, right? Looking like some sort of sad clown. Boy, boy she thick. Uh, here we have the King of Spades. Looking dapper as usual, holding a swords, holding his mighty sword right there. Kind of blends in with the design. Uh, then the red cards, red is a little bit more blood red. It's not necessarily this vibrant red. Uh, if you guys are, if you guys have seen the YouTube logo for more than, um, I don't know, 30 seconds, uh, you would realize that that's the brightest red in the history of fucking red. Here, uh, it's not so bad. It's, it's a little bit of a nice blood red. So you see the uh, different court cards here, uh, the queen of, Diamonds looking very sad, holding what looks like to be some sort of um, emo lollipop. Okay. Uh, King of Diamonds holding an axe. Uh, you have the Kissing Kings, my favorite. Um, 
because they're back to back. So uh, they're not technically kissing, they're doing something else, but uh, we're trying not to get demonetized here. <laughs> uh, check out my Patreon, by the way, if you guys aren't aware, speaking of demonetization, uh, there we could fight the system if you guys enjoy these videos. Uh, so here we have the rest of the court cards and uh, now the hearts. So we have the hearts here, King of Hearts stabbing his own head. Uh, like what I want to do sometimes, Queen of Hearts holding another lollipop, uh, Jack, of, Jack of Hearts, and uh, the rest of the number cards. And we don't have any sort of special cards here, so they don't bring a double backer. They don't bring any one of these uh, blank card memes, so it's really just a solid deck of cards. Uh, so I gotta say, the last category here is Sub-Zero, uh, which means if I would recommend these cards. And I, I definitely do. I'm a huge fan of minimalist cards. These uh, look like very, very minimal. They're not... One of these overly done, crazy produced designs is very minimal. Let's see if we could do one of these memes. Oh yeah, we're Dan and Dave Buck, huh? Oh, they're right here. They're inside of me. I'm one with them. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah, these are nice. I gotta say, I would highly recommend them. I'm a huge fan of uh, minimal cards and uh, these uh, really add to the uh, minimal style. So I gotta say, uh, definitely pick these cards up. And uh, the link is in the description below. So I gotta say, good, you're gonna get two saws out of two. Uh, uh, Murphy's Magic, uh, just for this deck. Uh, well, there you go, guys, that's a review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something from it. I'm gonna go figure out different ways to shill my product. So make sure to uh, check out the Patreon if you guys haven't already. Support Old Piggy here in making more videos and uh, get some exclusive content while you're at it. Um, I'm gonna go figure out other ways to try to get a roadster bicycle to not fall apart when i ride it on places that aren't the road um all right